Welcome back to Badwick Drama News. I'm your host, Badwick, and I'm here making the news simple just like you. So for today's episode, we have three quick stories for you today. But before we get into that, why don't you hit that like button if you enjoy the content you see. Subscribe if you want to keep up with frequent videos. And comment down below your thoughts on the stories we are talking about today. So for today's episode, we're going to be talking about Gideon and how he went back on his work. Word. We're going to be talking about a streamer who constantly seems to just push the limits of what is considered acceptable. And we got some Gabby Hanna news all today on today's episode. Now let's just get into it. So for our first story of the day, we're going to be talking about Gideon. Now we all know who Gideon is. He used to do prank videos. He had that beef with Pokimane where he sent his audience to go harass her. Then he got banned off Twitch. He apologized to Pokimane. Twitch still kept him banned to prove a point. Then he decided to leave streaming. And then he returned as a very devoted Christian. And he streamed and made YouTube videos based on Christianity. Then he announced that he was returning to streaming. However, he wasn't going to be doing the prank videos anymore. So now, recently, Gideon has created a kick account, which is ironic because Gideon was one of the people who originally were critical of kick saying that no one's going to go over to kick, which is ironic because there was a fair amount of streamers that were mostly known for streaming on Twitch and YouTube that said kick was going to fail. Now we have seen a large portion of those streamers streaming on kick. And I want to know your thoughts on this. Do you think he's just jumping bandwagon because everyone hates Twitch right now? Or do you think he's actually going to make it on kick? I know he's done some collaborations with Aiden Ross recently and some debates, I suppose. So maybe that's part of it. Maybe Aiden signed Gideon on kick. It's hard to say, but everyone just noticed that he made a kick account recently. Let me know what you think about this quick story in the comments down below. And let's move on to the next one. So for our second story of the day, we're going to be talking about controversial streamer Natalie Reynolds. Now we've talked about Natalie before on this channel where she did the whole painted pants situation in a gym where she got kicked out and that kind of became a whole situation. She made a joke apology on Twitter and then said that she would never apologize for what she did. That Natalie Reynolds. And to be honest, she's killing it on kick with her views and she is grinding out content. However, her most recent IRL stream has had some people talking on if this is truly appropriate for streaming. Now, I want to show you guys the clip first. Let's show the clip. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Don't kill my dog. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Stop it. Stop it. Stop Push it in. Push harder. Fuck. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy fuck. So as you can see from that clip, it showcased Natalie Reynolds killing a boar with a spear on stream. Now this clip has caused a lot of conversation of what is acceptable for IRL streaming. On one hand, you have people defending the situation saying, this is hunting, she's not wasting the food, she kept the food, they ate it, so on and so forth. So nothing has gone to waste. She just streamed it. And to be honest, a lot of people are arguing, this is how you get your food realistically. And if it's uncomfortable, don't watch it. Then you have the other side of it claiming that this is unnecessary animal cruelty for entertainment purposes. She is just doing this for clout. She is making a joke about killing a living creature and all that sort of thing. However, the story continues on when she posted a photo on Twitter last night of her killing a hyena. Apparently, she shot this hyena and claims to have fed a local tribe for a week with it. Now, that pissed a lot of people off because they're claiming now that she is a person of privilege, abusing it, just to, you know, kill animals and sport hunting and that sort of stuff. 
I want to know your thoughts on this situation. Do you think Natalie Reynolds went too far with this IRL hunting thing? Or do you think this is just honestly harmless and just content? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Move on to the next story. So I butchered the transition of that last clip. However, let's move on to the story of Gabby Hanna. So if you guys don't know who Gabby Hanna is, she is like an OG YouTuber. She has made music. She's done the comedy skits. She has had mental health breakdowns on YouTube. And she has had strangers enter her home. She has had beefs with individuals like Rice Gum. This girl has done it all. However, she disappeared. And no one knew where she was until recently. And I want to show you guys the clip that has surfaced of Gabby Hanna. Are the real secret to meeting your fitness goals? Cardio? Sure, that's a part of it. Strength? Okay. Also a part of it. Don't make fun of my push-ups. But the real secret, the thing that's going to ensure you meet your goals? Consistency. 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 And you want to know the number one secret to consistency? Fun. Your workout doesn't have to be boring. It can be as fun as a night out dancing with your friends. And it should be. My name's Gabby and I'm your new instructor at the Lawrence County YMCA. I can't even tell my thighs are burning because I'm having so much fun and looking so good doing it. Am I dancing or am I swimming my weight? Take part in our three new dance-inspired fitness classes. No dance experience required all fitness levels encouraged looking good all starts with feeling good come take a class today and thank yourself tomorrow so as you can see from that clip gabby hanna is teaching fitness classes at a ymca and to be honest i'm not a big fan of gabby hanna actually gabby hanna was the first individual to get me suspended off of twitter because i referred to her as a butterface fun fact now it is nice to see gabby hanna looking actually happy in this and I, i'm gonna give her credit she does look happy and she looks like she's really enjoying what she's doing compared to all this like youtube drama and stuff that has caused her mental health breakdowns so i actually am in full support of gabby hannah doing this and i actually just want to wish her the best in this and i'm also curious to follow how far this goes because who knows where it'll go? Because it's Gabby Hanna. We might have like a story in a week about how this all crashes and burns. Or we might have a real success or success story with this. So who knows? I want to know what you guys predict for the future, Gabby Hanna. So comment down below in the comments on if you think she is going to do well with this venture. Or if this is just going to be another dumpster fire that we're going to be talking about. However, I want to say thank you so much for watching this episode of Badwick Drama News. Make sure you like to help support the channel. Subscribe if you want to see more. And comment down below what you think of the show. And I know, you know what? Today's episode was actually hard to film. I don't know why I had so much hiccups while talking today. But thank you for making it through it today. Anyways, guys, I will see you hopefully tomorrow with a new video. Bye-bye.